A disaster siren in Springfield Township that has been in use for decades has been decommissioned. Jade Leah Burns speaks with residents on how they hope the township will move forward. She's in our studio now with the latest. Jade. Now, Jen, most residents are just hoping there can be some compromise to keep everyone safe. The Springfield Volunteer Fire Department notified residents Wednesday evening that the West Springfield Emergency Siren has been decommissioned due to the landowner asking for its removal. I was in shock. I know there's a lot of people that are squawking that they, you know, we need this. If we're outside and don't have your cell phone on. You know, Helen says she remembers the sirens being essential since she was a young child. She explains that she might have a way to keep neighbors notified. I'm willing to put it on our property. I haven't heard from from the fire department or anything, but I'm willing. The fire department's social media post also stating this was at the demand of the landowner who refused to work with us in any capacity. One resident who lives nearby claims this isn't the case. It was clearly not at all what we even discussed. Never once was it ever discussed to turn this off as a disaster siren. Bartosik is concerned for how loud the decibels are for his young grandchildren. He adds he's made his concerns known to officials and they have not responded to him for quite some time. Well, it's been almost three years when this started. That's all we hear is we're working on it. Township officials tell us they've been advised by legal counsel not to speak until their public meeting, which will be held on the second Monday in May. Private property owners have the right and if a government agency chooses to take that property for public use, they owe just compensation. That is an amendment right. I have an autistic son who, when he hears the siren go off, comes running to me, put, this, put the scanner on mom, we gotta know what it is. We need it in our community. According to their social media posts, the siren in East Springfield is still in use. Jen. All right, Jade Leah Burns in the studio. Thank you, Jade.